uh, and I thought this had good visual effects and some good new you know, this was like listen to them children of the night what music they make Take to the heart. Bam! <laughs> cool. So, so that stuff really works. How the fuck's you doing? Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to the final part of Vampire Weekend of this series. So, we are on part D now, is it? And. I thought I would keep the final part of Vampire Weekend off by revisiting and re-reviewing this time as it's on its own and not as a, an original versus remake, the 2011 remake of Fright Night. So this one is it's based off the 1985 film from Tom Holland. Uh, this is directed by Greg uh, Gil, Gil Spie or, Spy or something. And it stars the late Anton Yelkin, uh, Colin Farrell, Christopher Mitz Plaz, or as I like to call him, McLovin, um, Imogen Poots, um, David Tennant, yes, Doctor Who, and Tony Collette. So if you've seen the original, uh, this basically follows the story of Charlie Brewster, whose neighbour moves in next door and he's a vampire. This time he's former best buddy played by McLovin is trying to prove that he is a real vampire but Charlie's not buying at first until he finds that his friend has gone missing and the he then starts to suspect that the neighbor Jerry is in fact a vampire and just like in the original he turns to Vin Peter Vincent this time played by David Tennant who uh, does like a Vegas show and um, of course he's not too convinced at first but then he eventually has a change of mind. Anyway, pretty much like the original, the story is very similar, and only oh, they make some changes in that here and there. So let's get on to my likes and dislikes. First of all, the likes. I like Colin Farrell as the vampire Jerry. He didn't have a human familiar this time, like in the original, but yeah, he was very sinister in this and quite demonic and vampiric. The laws of the vampire still apply like they do in the original, only I don't think he does turn into a bat this time. Um, of course, Anton Yelchin as Charlie Brewster, he was good as well playing his character, and along with Imogen Poops was playing Katie in, uh, this time. She too was good. I also like Tony Clay in this, but I can't forget David Tennant. You know, before David Tennant, of course, to me, my whole introduction to that guy is him playing the 10th Doctor in Doctor Who, and he was just great in this. I loved that he wasn't playing, you know, he wasn't trying to be like Roddy McDowell. 
you know, he brought his own character to the character of Peter Vincent and played it very differently. To me, he was like more of a mature, adult version of his incarnation of the Doctor. And that's all I could think of when I was seeing him play. You know, he was just, you know, basically playing a drunk, slimy, asshole version of the 10th Doctor, but I loved it. I loved David Tennant in this, and for that, he was just a show stealer. I also liked McLovin in this too. He was a fun character. Well, he wasn't in it very long. He was very sudden and brief. He didn't, I feel like, you know, well, I'll get to that in the dislikes, but he was good. Uh, and I thought this had good visual effects and some good, you know, you know th this was like an updated version for the modern generation, I think. Um, so what do I have negatively to say? Well, it's a remake and I thought Fright Night was a good classic and it didn't need to be remade, but this one, it was an okay remake. It wasn't terrible, it wasn't bad, but I felt like it, it didn't feel necessary. But I like that, you know, they didn't do it all shot for shot and they changed the setting and everything and part of the story, and especially the character of Peter Vincent. But, um... Yeah, also McLovin's character, um, he, I feel, wasn't in it as long and didn't have much character development like in the like his character he plays in the original. And, you know, but we do still see him as a vampire. But again, he's not a vampire for too long. But, um, but yeah, uh, I, I like this. It was okay. It was kind of predictable because I knew what was going to happen in this because... I've seen the original and I had a rough idea of what was going to happen at the end. Of course, it ended the way I thought it would end. So yeah, is it a good remake? Yeah, it's an okay remake, but if you had, if I had to pick between the original and the remake, definitely the original. Anyway, Fright Night 2011, what am I going to rate this one? I'll give it... I'll give it three and a half stakes out of five. Three and a half stakes out of five for... Um, Fright Night 2011. So, that's it for today's episode of Fr of Vampire Weekend. So, do join me tomorrow where I will continue this uh, trend. Uh, well, not trend, this weekend. So, yeah, I'll see the tomorrow and... Yeah, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. I've been Random Ross, and this has been Vampire Weekend Day... Is it day... 50... 40... Day 13. So, yeah, I think it's day 13. I don't know, I'm losing count. So, anyway, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow and until next time, do not have nightmares.